Hi, this is JP from Not Alive Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of Eye of Chaos, where we pick a random investigator and build a random chaos deck on ArkhamDB.com for it and play the Midnight Mask scenario on standard difficulty and try to do the best we can. So, this far we have gotten a lot of mystics and <laughs> I'm hoping we get other classes so we get some variety on the investigators and the cards used so hoping to get another class this time so let's see what we get so we, I have again all of my investigator tokens in this one bag and I'm picking one at random and this time <laughs> it's another mystic and this time it's Jim Culver well it is the luck of the draw and I won't uh, do that again because uh, it's time we will remove the uh, picked investigator from the pool. So eventually we will run out of mystics, but it is not today. So uh, let's hop over to arkhamdb.com and start building the deck. Okay, and we are on arkhamdb.com. We have Jim Culver selected as the investigator. So uh, this is, I think, the first Dunwich investigator we've had. So remember the to the card pool is all available, a level zero cards, because uh, Jim can have five uh, non-class cards in the deck, but it is only five. So uh, let's start by uh, pushing the chaos button and generating the deck, and let's go through the deck. So um, first off, this actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, we have a scroll of secrets, and uh, I am not playing taboo, so I'm playing everything as written. So this is pure garbage as uh, it is. So scroll of secrets. Uh, I think it's one of the of class cards. I have to check, but let's see. Uh, not a good card. We have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not. A, it's part of the mystic pool. So we're uh, lucky. It doesn't take up um, of of class card slot. And then we have uh, Azure Flame for fighting. Azure Flame is an okay card for Jim because even if we take damage from throwing plus or zero or elder sign cards or plus one zero or elder sign uh, Jim has seven uh, health so can can take some damage from using Azure Flame if it comes to that uh, then we have clarity of mind not really useful in Jim because Jim has his own way of healing uh, uh, horror with his trumpet so uh, let's see, then we have uh, Shard, uh, Shroud of Shadows, I haven't seen that we have that many uh, ways to generate uh, curse tokens to the Chaos Pack, so this might be not that great. At least it gives us a good way to uh, evade, at least. Sixth Sense is a great mystic card, this is course a card we want to see in our opening hand but it is only one copy uh, then there's there's wither which is an okay to deal with the uh, acolytes but not much more olive is a great one uh, olive gives us a chance to draw more uh, skull tokens with jim's ability uh, blood pact not uh, that useful Astral travel uh, might get us out of a sticky situation if we're uh, in a uh, in, in the graveyard, for example, and we have enemies at the river town. We can escape the graveyard with that. Uh, burning midnight oil is a newer card. It's a secret card, and this is actually uh, great when we are investigating. We can just uh, uh, get extra resources with this card. Uh, 
it's I think it's okay in team. Um, Dark prophecy again. Uh, it seems that this card comes into every every mystic deck we make. Uh, deep knowledge. This is a great card actually. It synergizes with the shroud of shadows. It uh, puts some curse tokens into the back. Also draws us a lot of cards, which is really good. And drawn to the flame. Happy to see this uh, old fellow here. Uh, it, it just auto gets us two clues, which we can immediately use to get a cultist out. So happy to see that. Unfortunately, only one copy. Uh, Eldritch inspiration, not that great. Uh, followed, not that uh, great. Maybe in gym. Well, uh, we could damage an enemy and then play this and maybe do something, but not seeing that much use out of this. Well, uh, we had the blood pack, so Moonlight Ritual uh, would be really good uh, synergy with blood pack if we ever get blood pack in play. I also skipped uh, past Thermos, which is not that great. Uh, where were we? Open gate, times one, useless, uh, parallel fates, uh, not that great, two copies of that. Uh, Storm of Spirits might be good if we get a lot of enemies at one location and uh, maybe wither some down to two health and then play this to defeat a lot of enemies at one time. Uh, trial by Fire. Uh, always a good card if it were able to play it. Curiosity. Maybe not in a, a mystic that great. Um, we rarely have a lot of cards in hand with a mystic. Uh, desperate search. Well, we need to lower our uh, sanity to three of you or to even play this, so pretty useless. Enraptured, not that useless, uh, not that good. Well, we have the Scroll of Secrets, so we have a card with uh, secrets on it. So, oh yeah, it's only charges, so this is pretty useless. Well, Shroud of Shadows, Clarity of Mind, Azure Flame, okay, not completely useless, but not that good. Manual Dexterity, okay, in team, because we have can actually evade something with the help of that. Perception, nice. It's, it's a good one for Jim with the free intellect with, and perception. We should be able to uh, investigate something. Torrent of power, again, not that great. And our weakness for this deck is internal injury. So this is a card we need to get rid of if we draw it. So. Okay, uh, I feel like this deck is not the worst uh, Mystic deck we have made for this series, so looking forward to actually seeing some useful cards like Six Sense and uh, uh, something else. Well, at least the Six Sense for investigating and of course Azure Flame for fighting, but uh, I'll next build the deck, so we can start uh, playing and my goal is to do better than other mystics so far so we should get four xp to do the best we have done so far with a mystic so uh, without further ado let's get started okay and uh, we have the team culver deck built here and uh, are starting at your house and uh, the cool priest is in the deck we are playing on standard difficulty hopefully uh, we can beat our uh, previous uh, mystic runs with Jim uh, because Jim has some uh, tools to actually do something so let's see what we get in our opening draw so thank god we got the sixth sense uh, we are shuffling the final Rhapsody again. So we have uh, Sixth Sense, uh, Perception, uh, Clarity of Mind, Scroll of Secrets and Astral Travel. Uh, these three can go to somewhere else. Uh, I think I'm keeping the Perception Sixth Sense. I will draw three more cards. 
uh, we find followed, uh, we find the uh, Shroud of Shadows, and we find Dawn of the Flame. So, uh, we have a pretty good uh, hand for investigating at least. So, I think we are playing the Sixth Sense, uh, investigating and straight on moving to the River Town. Then, uh, if I remember correctly, Miskatonic University has a high Shroud value of four, so we might want to spend uh, Drawn to the Flame there and not waste it in our low Shroud location. So, uh, first action, uh, we'll play the Sixth Sense. Then uh, we'll just investigate with the Sixth Sense. I, I think I'm not playing anything else this turn. So, second action, investigate. Uh, we are investigating 4 versus 2. And uh, hits a 0. So we'll grab this clue. Last action, we'll move to River Town. And that is our turn. 1, 2 here. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw trial by fire, and we gain one resource, so our hand is trial by fire, drawn to a flame, shroud of shadows, followed, and perception, so high uh, in investigative power hand, hopefully we can utilize it before uh, all of the enemies come out, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda, one of six. Counterpart for this turn is uh, Wizard of the Order. So, this is actually annoying. Uh, we don't have a good way of dealing with that. Uh, it, uh, it won't slow up our um, gameplay yet, but we need to be mindful of where we want to put that guy. So, we could. have a way to defeat it, so it's gonna just uh, steal so many turns from us to generate the doom. Okay, well... Uh, I think we're putting it... Uh, so we have to think, uh, we're going to the Miskatonic University, then uh, we might want to Hospital, maybe or north side. I think I'll put it in the St. Mary's Hospital so it will just generate doom there, unfortunately. So, uh, at the end of the middle of space, um, we need to put one doom on the Wizard of the Order. And, uh, first action, I think we are just investigating here. So Investigating 4 vs 1. It's a plus 1. We get this clue. Second action, we'll move to Miskatonic University. 4 shroud, 2 clues. And uh, last action, we will draw into the flame here. So uh, we will uh, draw an encounter card. It is Crypt Chill. Test 4 versus 4 Intellect. And uh, I'm boosting it with the Trial by Fire because we don't want to lose the Sixth Sense. So hopefully we can keep the Sixth Sense in play. It's a Skull, it's a minus 1, so we are barely successful. So were uh, 5 versus 4, uh, we drew a minus 1, so 4 versus 4, we managed to keep hold of 6 cents, and that is that, and we grab these two clues from here. And next turn, I think we are, if, if we still have all of the cl uh, clues, we'll just double uh, put some cultists out so we can start dealing with those. So, enemy phase, uh, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, dark Prophecy, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, a counter card for this turn is uh, on Wings of Darkness. And um, I 
I actually have a... I think I'm not needing the cloud. Dark prophesy, so... It would be... yeah. Better not choose anything, so we'll just uh, test uh, 2 versus 4. It's a minus two, uh, place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Okay. So we are advancing next turn if we can't uh, defeat that guy, and we can't. So... I uh, will take one damage and one horror for uh, one Kings of Darkness. And that is our turn. Uh, I mean, that is the middle space. Uh, first action... I think we'll play Shroud of Shadow, so we have a better way to avoid the Mass Hunter next turn. Second action, oh yeah, that's three resources. Second action, and we will uh, use two clues and reveal one cultist from here. Herman Collins comes into play in the graveyard. That is actually fine. We probably can deal with him next turn. So Herman Collins is in the graveyard. Last action, we can spend the rest of the clues so we can spawn another one. And it is Victoria de Rowe. So Victoria spawns at north side. Spend five resources, Pale, add Victoria de Rowe to the Victor display. We definitely, we can do that later uh, when we get some uh, resource generation going. And uh, for Herman Collins, we can defeat him by discarding four cards from hand, and uh, we will have that next turn. So, enemy phase, nothing happens, no hunters, upkeep, we draw a card. Blood, uh, blood pact, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So I miscalculated, we still have one more turn before the Mass Hunter uh, arrives, so we add one to him here. Uh, we are still at five doom of six, encounter card is an acolyte, and this is actually good. We don't have to mind this guy at all, just put it somewhere, because uh, we already had checked if we would advance, so we won't advance yet. Then uh, we'll go to the end of the middle space, this guy gets one room, so we're definitely advancing next turn, but uh, first we'll do our this turn, so uh, investigate phase, we'll move the graveyard, and after you enter the graveyard, test uh, willpower 3. If you fail, you must either take 2 horror or move to river town. So, if we fail, we'll uh, take the horror because we want to defeat uh, Herman Collins this turn. It's a zero, so we are fine. Uh, Herman Collins engages us. Second action, we will discard 4 cards from our hand and add Herman Collins to the display and uh, there are two clues here so we'll add those I think last action we will investigate using the six sense uh, so four versus one it's a minus two we'll grab one clue from here and uh, no enemy action we'll go to upkeep we Draw a card, uh, Olive and Pride, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, and next turn we're definitely advancing, so let's go to the next turn. Uh, we would add a Doom, so uh, all of this should go away. We'll get uh, the Mass Hunter, comes into play, engage with us, and uh, We get the encounter card, <laughs> and it's a cool priest, but uh, it luckily spawns at your house, so you don't have to uh, care about the cool priest yet. And that is the 
Middle space, we'll add one to this guy here. I'll actually shift here. So first action, uh, we are using uh, Shroud of Shadows to evade. I'm evading uh, four versus one, uh, four versus two. So up by two, plus one, uh, we evade. So, last hunter is evaded. Second action. Um, now this is uh, probably a good time to just run away because the ghoul priest will move out from uh, your house to River Town next uh, uh, this turn. So he would engage us and hit us. I'm uh, forgetting this rule here. We don't have, unfortunately, we don't have time to get that. So I'm just moving out of here. And last action will move to East Town. And East Town has one clue. Shroud of two. Uh, while you are in East Town, reduce the cost of each ally asset you play by two. So I think we are playing uh, Olive next turn. And we'll go to the enemy phase. The ghoul priest hunts here. Nothing else happens. Uh, upkeep, mass hunter readies. We'll draw a card, manual dexterity, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, uh, one of uh, two of eight, because this uh, wizard of the order is in play. Counter card for this turn is Hunting, Shadow, Peril. You must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. Uh, we take the damage because um, we maybe want to get one more cultist out this game. And that is the Mythos space. We'll add Doom to this guy. Uh, first action, we will investigate four versus. Uh, first action, we'll play Olive McBride. And we'll play her for free because of that location text. We'll use Olive and we'll use uh, Six Sense, so investigating uh, five, uh, four versus two, and drawing three tokens and choosing. Uh, we have to choose two. I think we're not using Olive, we'll just have Olive for extra damage so for now. So 4 versus 2 hits a 0, so we'll grab this clue. Last action we'll move to Downtown. Uh, downtown reads action gain 3 resources, limit once per game, so that is perfect before we head to defeat Victor Debro. Uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. Uh, the ghoul priest hunts here. Mask hunter hunts here. Nothing else happens. We'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. Moonlight ritual. Uh, remove all doom from one card you control. Well, we don't have any cards with doom on them. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. So, 4 of 8, we don't have many turns left. Encounter card is uh, obscuring fog, so we really don't mind. Uh, we are not investigating here. Our first action, we will gain 3 resources. Do we even need the resources? Let's not get the resources, we'll just move here. And uh, Victoria Debro engages us. Uh, there are two clues here, Shroud of Three, and uh, second action, we'll spend uh, five resources to defeat uh, Victoria Devro. So we add Victoria Devro to the victory display. And uh, uh, last action, we will spawn another cultist, and uh, it is Peter Warren. So, we 
we actually might be able to defeat Peter before we end our game in a couple of turns. So let's see if we have time, uh, which we probably won't. But uh, we'll go to the enemy phase. So one, two, one, two, three. So as hunter, unfortunately, has to hunt here, and the cool priest here. So we are. Uh, between two guys here now, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw deep knowledge, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom here. Uh, five of eight encounter card for this turn is a false lead. Uh, if you have no clues, this can search, so we search it. And obscuring fog here also, so uh, no luck. I think we uh, don't have a lot of ways to get those clues unless we get five resources somehow. Unfortunately, um, we don't have good ways to getting a lot of clues at the moment. So we would be investigating five versus uh, four versus uh, five for the first one and we would succeed. So we are using our power, so five versus five. Yeah, so we have deep knowledge, uh, moonlight ritual, and manual dexterity. None of those help us that much. So we've got two of Peter Warren here. So we could just head in and start punching Peter Warren to defeat it. I think that is the most sane idea at the moment. So I didn't miss the build yet. So we head in, we evade the mask hunter, and we punch Peter for one damage. Next turn we double punch, uh, and we will resign, or we miss and we resign. Okay, so I think that is our plan, just to try and defeat Peter before we uh, resign. First action will move. Uh, Catonic University. So the Mask Hunter and Peter Warren engage us. Second action, I think we just try to punch and see how it goes. I'm punching uh, three versus. Need uh, minus one or better, and it is actually Elder Sign, and it needs uh, plus one, so we deal one damage to Peter Warren. Last action, we are using the sh uh, Shroud of Shadows to date the Mask Hunter. I don't know if we have any for deep knowledge anymore, so I'm using the deep knowledge to boost this evade by one, so I'm uh, five versus two. It's a minus one, so we managed to evade the mass hunter. That is all we can do. Uh, we have uh, the enemy phase to deal with, so uh, the cool priest hunts here. Nothing else happens. Uh, Peter Warren hits us for one damage. That's fine. And that is the turn, so we go to upkeep, the mask hunter readies. We draw a card, uh, we get torrent of power, that is actually good for the punching next turn. And we gain one resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So this is the last turn of the game, uh, we add a doom here. 
and that is not a doom. So we add a doom here. Uh, four, five, six. We get an encounter card, and it is hunting shadow. Peril. We must either choose one, spend one clue, or take two damage. We don't have any clues, so we have to take two damage. And we have a four, five, six damage taken from seven, so we can't take any more damage. Then we add one doom here. So next turn we would advance, so we definitely have to resign this turn. So first action. Uh, we will hit and use the Torrent of Power. So as an additional cost to commit the uh, Torrent of Power to a skill that spent up to three resources from a monster. Asset you control for each charge spent this way, Torrent of Power gains uh, wild and um, willpower icon. So I'm spending one from Shroud of Shadows. So we are up by two for this fight check. So uh, we are up by three because that boosts us two, so we are five against two. So we should hit this one. Hits a minus two. Uh, we deal one damage here. Second action, and this is only up by one. So if we miss this, we just have to resign. We don't have any cards we can lose this attack with, so hopefully this hits. Okay, so let's see what we get. Plus one. So Peter Warren is defeated, goes into the victor display. And last action, we will resign. Okay, so we don't have any clues to drop, so that is that. Yeah, well, uh, at least we defeated three different cultists. Uh, we had the Ghoul Priest and the Mass Hunter in play. Those guys were pretty annoying to deal with without any fighting uh, tech in play. Uh, luckily we had the Shroud of Shadow so we could escape the Mass Hunter. And this Wizard of the Order really uh, annoyed me this game because we lost so many turns of the game for him because we couldn't defeat him. So that is that and uh, I think this run went pretty well because the Sixth Sense uh, guaranteed us a good way to get clues. Also, now that I think of it, I I went to Iskatonic University, grabbed the clues earlier, and forgot that I w was there earlier. So it should have been here. So there are no clues on that location. So actually, we also get this uh, this victory point here. So we drawn to the flame there and emptied it from clues, and then. Uh, of darkness to us here and that messed up that I forgot that we already were there earlier. So uh, four victory points uh, that is uh, the best I have done with the mystic in this uh, eye of chaos challenge so good run in my opinion. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.